Welcome to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1. A pre-grade is a prep or introduction to Grade 1 Music Theory. We have simplified everything from Music Grade 1 Theory into its most simplest form, making it easier and understandable for everybody. In Pre-Grade 1, Week 1, we'll be covering letter names, also looking at stuff, pitch, clefs, notes on the lines and spaces. Let's begin our Week 1. Staff. What is a staff? The foundation of notation system is a grid of five lines and four spaces called the staff. So a staff has five lines and four spaces. This is where music is written. This is where we write or notate notes from bottom to top. The lines are horizontal. The lines are horizontal and each line and space represents a musical pitch. Each line or space represents a musical pitch. What do we mean by that? Let's take a look at the stuff. If, if we had the treble clef here in the stuff, then this line, bottom line, would be E. This will be called E. Then this, if this is E, E is somewhere here above, uh, this is the middle C, should be somewhere here. Then this is E, slightly above the middle C. We have given this line a letter. We have named this line basically as an E. So therefore, each line and space represents a musical pitch. And the pitch for this line is E. Every line and space has a letter name, like we've just explained that the line the first line here is an e we've used letters to label our lines and spaces and when writing notes it is important that you write them neatly on the line or inside the space write notes neatly on the lines or inside the spaces note heads are not round in shape but oval remember this not round in shape but oval and they're always written in a staircase pattern. Always written in a staircase pattern. Let's see examples below. See the note head? It's not round. But this is an oval shape. Oval shape. Oval shape. And it's written neatly on the line. As you can see, the line is cutting through. The line is cutting through the note. This note is written neatly inside the space. It's not overlapping on the lines. There's a staircase pattern. The notes follow each other in a staircase pattern. Staircase. Always remember this when notating notes. Moving along to pitch and clefs. What is a pitch? Notes differ with sound. Pitch is how high or low a note may sound. So pitch is how high or how low a note sounds. The notes on the right side of the piano from the middle C sound higher than the notes below the middle C. E above the middle C sounds brighter than the E below the middle C. Clefs. What is a clef? A clef is a musical sign that is put in the beginning of the staff to determine the pitch of notes that must be played. So a clef is a musical sign. It's a musical sign placed where? The beginning of the staff to determine. What does it do? It tells us the pitch of the notes that must be played the pitch of the notes that must be played we are going to look at two clefs in pre-grade one number one the treble clef as we have mentioned previously also known as the g clef which we will look more into detail on the coming chapters and the bass clef known as the f clef treble clef let's take a look at how a treble clef is placed and how it is written on the staff. It is the, the line circulates around the G. This is the G line and it goes up 
slightly above the staff coming down, curving inside again. The treble clef, bass clef. It starts with two spots on the fourth line, which is the F. The dots are placed on the third and fourth spaces. Remember this, the dots for the bass clef are placed on the third and fourth spaces. Let's take a look at the dots. This is the third space, one, two, three, four third and fourth space All right putting the fourth line one two three four in the middle then the line starts on the fourth line with a shaded dot on the fourth line caving right down base clef lines on uh, notes on the lines and spaces Notes on the lines and spaces for the bass clef. Let's take a look at the first line of the bass clef, which is the G. The second line of the bass clef, B. The third line of the bass clef is D. The fourth line of the bass clef is F. And the last line is A. Remember that we said the staff has five lines and four spaces. Remember that it applies both for treble and bass clef. And we use a phrase to help us rem remember our lines for the bass clef. We use a phrase that says, Gary Bex does funny X. G for Gary, B for Bex, D for does, F for funny, A for X. Looking at the spaces for the bass clef. The first space is A. The second space is C. Third space is E. The fourth space, which is the last space, it is G. And we use a phrase that goes, all cows eat grass. A for or all for A. Then C for cows. E for eat. G for grass. Let's take a look at the lines and spaces when they are combined together. The first E sitting on the line. F space G line A space B line C space D line E space F line G space A line lastly B space let's move along notes on the lines and spaces of the treble clef let's take a look at the first line of the treble clef E we have G as the second line of the treble clef B, third line and the middle line of the treble clef. D is the fourth line of the treble clef. And F is the last line of the treble clef. We use the phrase, we use a phrase that says, Every good boy does fine. E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for does, F for fine. Spaces. The first space of the treble clef is F. Second space of the treble clef is A. Third space of the treble clef is C. And we have E as the last space. And we use the word face to help us remember the spaces for the treble clef. Let's look at uh, when they are both combined. E on the line, F space, G line, A space, B on the line, C space, D on the line E space and lastly F sitting on the line.